Reporting Zach Boedo was on the scene this morning. He joins us live with a breakdown of what motel guests say that they saw today. Zach. Eric, Nikki, it all happened right here in this motel room behind me. You can see investigators are still taking a look inside that door on the first floor of the Motel 6 here near the corner of N and 30th in East Sacramento. We did speak to some guests who stayed here at this Motel 6 overnight. They tell me that at about 4 o'clock this morning, they did hear a child crying. Then they went to bed and woke up to a parking lot full of police cruisers. Crime scene tape crossed through and around the Motel 6 near 30th and N Street in Sacramento Tuesday, while investigators went room to room to figure out how a three-year-old child wound up dead. She just looked, she just looked disheveled. Gary Rainey stayed at the Motel 6 both Sunday and Monday night with his wife. He says he was outside his room smoking a cigarette when a woman approached him in a strange state. Uh, she just had a lady come down from the room and ask us for a cigarette, and she... Had a scared look all over her face. Looked like she's there was something in her behind closed doors that she was scared of. Rainey says the woman came from the same room where officers were seen investigating just hours later, room 123 on the first floor. He says she never asked him for help. When she came to ask for, for a cigarette. He said thank you, and then she kind of hung around like she was looking for help, but she didn't say anything. And she, and then she said, hey, thank you, and said, no, thank you, have a good night, ma'am. Went back to her room, that's all I saw. The Sacramento City Fire Department says it got the initial report to respond to the Motel 6 just after 7.30 a.m. When crews arrived, they immediately began CPR on the three-year-old, then transported them to a local hospital where the child was pronounced dead. One business owner who works just feet from the Motel 6 says it's become a trouble area for this part of the Alhambra corridor. It's a big problem, yeah. I, it, it's, it, we see it going on right out our windows. We watch them, you know, selling their drugs and everything, and there's been several incidents there. So yeah, it, it is a problem. Harris says this should be a wake-up call for the workers and guests at the Motel 6 and for this city to make a change. It's a dangerous place for them to stay, and there's been several drug busts there, so this is, this is a real tragedy today. The Sacramento Police Department would not tell us whether or not they know what the cause of death is for this three-year-old child. They also would not tell us if anyone has been detained or arrested in this child's death. Reporting live in Sacramento, I'm Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.